Hey guys, just a quick update on my thousand suns. I've started my first dreadnought, and it is a Zinch uh, dreadnought with a sort of bird theme going on. It's the beginning of the beginning, so um, what I've done is use some Necron parts, some um, Warhammer Griffin Rider parts, and uh, just a standard assault on Black Ridge dreadnought. Um, I think with a couple of Furioso parts as well, but I've lost track. Let me show you what he looks like. Here he is on his base running through the, the battlefield, uh, much taller than the normal Dreadnought, uh, inspired by Judge Gudge and his fantastic conversion to do something bigger and uh, nastier. Uh, and he's got the uh, the running pose there going on, pinned to the base and can be separated into different sections. Got the uh, piston piping legs and he's ready for battle. Lots of green stuff to happen to this guy, lots of filling and, uh, and then going in with all of the uh, Thousand Suns iconography. So let's have a close up look at what's going on here. Doo -doo -doo. So we've got the, uh, the bird head here in the Warhammer kit and that's your standard um, Isle, of, what is it? Isle of Blood, that's the one, and uh, that's the griffin there, so that's the head, uh, the Librarian Terminator. Uh, cowl from, from the uh, Dreadnought on top of it and some Necron stuff there on the top, some Necron vertebrae on the back there from I think the Ghost Arc and then I've extended the legs uh, extended them at the hip joint with some pistons and there at the torso as well with a connector pin and then we've got the uh, Griffin legs here so the eagle talons grabbing the rocks as it's running. Uh, there'll be lots of cloth added. And then the uh, chaos element here which is the uh, vampire counts dragon uh, jaw that splits that uh, you glue together in two halves and I've split it in half here and I'll be hanging some more meaty uh, lower palette for the jaw between those two halves uh, kind of like those vampire uh, mouths from Blade. Uh, two. So there we go. And just the beginnings of the right and left arm here. Don't know what's going to happen with this weaponization, but um, just putting them together in the pose here as it's running through the battlefield. And you can sort of twist him and turn him and all sorts of things. And uh, that's it. That's the uh, the first dreadnought I've built. So um, looking forward to green stuffing this guy up and adding much more detail. And uh, he will be one of the uh, dreadnoughts. The only challenge now is what am I going to do with my hell brutes? Because they'll probably need to look as big and as bad. So um, some converted hell brutes on the way, and I will keep you very much updated. Thanks for all the comments and support on the last video. I'm glad you guys are excited about the army build. I am too, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So I will talk to you all very soon. Ciao.